What's up, y'all? Real good here. I've been hanging out with some seriously wealthy folks lately, and it's got me thinking about money. Let's talk. First, if you're not subscribed, hit that subscribe button. And if you are subscribed, support me, man. Patreon.com slash realgoodlife. Get over there. Throw me a dollar a month. Whatever you can support me with, I appreciate it. So my regular job ends tomorrow. And I've got no plan. I'd like to focus on this for y'all. But this is still very new. I have plenty saved up. Been a good boy saving my money since I started working back in the day. But I don't have enough to necessarily continue living this lifestyle, this growth-oriented lifestyle here in paradise where there's such a rich concentration of learnings that I can bring to you. So I'd really like to stay here in paradise, uh, what I call paradise, because it's this somatic, psychotherapeutic, uh, conscious community, uh, high-value interpersonal paradise and bring the lessons to you. You know, I love getting saturated in this stuff. It's like a full-time hobby. I read, I love getting into it with these people. I love taking up people on these new opportunities to meet new people. New lessons come up, it's new stressors. Then I come back to talk to you about social discernment, about other things that I'm learning from the lifestyles of the rich and famous so that you and I can keep rising together. So again, patreon.com slash realgoodlife. Anything you can throw me would, one, be encouraging and eventually fully financially supportive so we can take this and do more with it. For those of you who've been listening, I'm wanting to do seminars. I'm wanting to be able to get people out here and offer seminars. We can have immersions on things like getting in touch with our somatic self, immersions and interpersonal communication, all sorts of things to increase our lifestyle. But this video about money so far, the lifestyles of the rich and famous, they seem to correlate to high stress to me. I wonder if you can even feel it coming through me. Am I more jacked up and excited than usual? Because I'm coming off of a full 12 hours with a CEO in town that rubs shoulders with billionaires. And I have a mixed feeling about this. I, I like the freedom and financial potential there. I think I would like to spend it differently than they do. I would like to be doing it for things that feel more really good. Um, and I'd like for that to be where my money's going. But I'm starting to wonder if these people way up at the top of the financial food chains get there out of high neuroticism, for example. Certainly work ethic. But what keeps them working so hard? Some of it feels like high neuroticism. Some of it... A lot of it, honestly, feels like the in club. I hate to say this, but attractiveness plays a huge factor from what I'm seeing. And there's things that I feel so uncomfortable sharing on this camera about my observations of other people and their relationships and how they seem to be getting linked in to the rich and famous. But it's real. I'm watching it. And as far as I can tell, my idea feels very legitimized by what I'm witnessing and hearing in their stories about how they got to where they are. That makes me feel uncomfortable because I come from a different place where we like to do things by the rules and earn our earn our status and everything slowly the supposed right way. But reality before goodness. Reality first. And so I'm watching, I'm getting these opportunities to be one, two steps removed from these billionaire lifestyles rich and famous lifestyles, learning about how they got to where they're going, but really feeling how they feel. And part of me wants the affluence and I don't want to get there and be and feel the way I feel them feeling. I don't want to have the kind of relationships I feel them having. I want this relationship. I want to have the wonderful, healthy relationships that I've been sharing with you a little bit about on this channel. I want us to have this be the new world. And I would love affluence to come with that. Of course, of course. The affluence seems to have such upsides. As soon as I hear about how much money these people are moving around and I see it, I'm like, oh God, like the amount of goodness you could do. <laughs> so, oh my gosh. So I'm reaching out to you right now. If you've got a bunch of excess money, this is your chance. Go to patreon.com slash realgoodlife and siphon that into my world. Please siphon that into my world. 
reach out to me and let's make this connection. Let's start doing work with you one-on-one so we can grow your inner peace and the health of your relationships. Unwind the parts of you that keep you up at night, that cause your bad habits, that cause the pains and frustrations in your interpersonal relationships. Let's bring you to paradise. Let's bring you bliss and inner peace. And you go ahead and pipe that excess cash because I know how much excess cash is out there. So this is me speaking out to all of you, speaking out to you specifically. You know who you are. Patreon.com slash real good life. Go ahead and make my life and reach out and let's start doing this work together. This has been real good. Let's get this going. If y'all are getting value out of this journey, hit that like button. Y'all know where the Patreon page is. Feel free to hit up in the comments any and all ideas and questions you have and I'll see you again soon. Thanks y'all.